There's no better way to demonstrate and study bodies of water and their impact on landforms, erosion, and deposition than when using a stream table. Hi, I'm Anthony Rodriguez, and I'm the Earth Science Product Developer here at Ward Science. Whether you're teaching introductory earth science or advanced level geology, we have stream tables that drive student engagement and enhance their learning. Communities across the United States and all over the world are influenced and impacted by lakes, rivers, streams, and the ocean. Therefore, it's essential to have a strong understanding of the natural environment around a particular body of water when building a home, farming, or on a larger scale, planning and developing a town or city and the surrounding area. Whether it's the engineering aspect, making sure the land on a body of water is structurally sound before building homes, roads, and bridges, or from an environmental perspective, a severe storm on the coast or meltwater from a river's primary source high up on a mountain causing higher water levels, flooding, and increased erosion. With our stream tables, you can simulate a variety of geomorphological concepts that allow students to visualize real world scenarios in action. How stream velocity affects erosion. The creation of alluvial fans and deltas. Lessons on how to mitigate erosion. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a quick, simple demonstration that will allow your students to better understand the environmental impacts and engineering aspect of living near a body of water. As I turn up the velocity on our water, it begins to output more up here into our rainmaker, down into our stream system. What we're seeing here is now because of the additional water, the velocity has now picked up. And what we we're gonna look at is the meanders in this stream. Along the cut bank, which is the outside of every meander, there's, the water is going to be traveling faster and have a higher carrying capacity. Therefore, it's going to be able to erode out more. On the inside is the point bank. The water is going to travel slower and therefore actually deposit sediment along the inside here. One thing you want to talk to your students about is how to possibly mitigate uh, this erosion. And what you see right here on this cut bank here, there is just, the sand is just slumping right off and falling away and now our houses are in danger of falling into our stream. So you can talk to your students about how, how would you mitigate that? Maybe by putting up a concrete barrier or just in, in our stream table situation, just little stones, something to be resistant against eroding away and then you can just put them right up here and that sand will stop going. So now here in probably a few seconds, these are gonna fall in and our houses are just gonna float away. One other feature that we can show with this stream table is the uh, formation of a delta. So out here at the mouth of our river or stream where it meets a lake or the ocean, we see all that sediment that has come from up higher upstream down and it's just being deposited out into a delta, just like you would see at the Nile River. And look, here's one of our houses. There goes the other one right now as it flows right downstream. And I'm pretty sure our little tree is uh, not gonna last much longer either. The stream table I've been using today can be found on our website. For additional details, as well as other stream tables and accessories, make sure to visit wardside.com slash stream tables, or feel free to contact me by email at anthony.rodriguez at vwr.com if you have any additional questions or need help choosing the right stream table for your classroom. Thanks for joining me today.